35-yard attempt. Colton Theaker has it on the right hash. True frosh kicker. Sends it in the air and through the uprights good. So he missed a couple of times from 37 and 41 at Oregon State, but the true frosh out of Arroyo Grande bounces back and puts Cal Poly on the scoreboard first. 2.46 left to play in the opening quarter. A 3-0 lead for the Mustangs. Is this four down territory? With the wind, maybe. Hamler fakes the option right, runs left, surging to the goal line. He's in. Touchdown, Cal Poly. Jalen Hamler from six yards out. And the Mustangs extend their lead with 10.08 left to play in the second quarter. Now on second and 17, the pitch left side, Xavier Moore, lots of room, left sideline to the 30, 35, and escorted out of bounds near the 40. Spotted at the 38-yard line, Aubrey Nellums, the redshirt freshman out of, you guessed it, Vegas, <laughs> took Xavier Moore out of bounds, but hey, that penalty doesn't hurt that much after all, and the Mustangs have moved the chain. Hamler under center, out of the timeout, option, Spakes has running room, right side, 10, 5, touchdown Cal Poly. Jalen Hamler goes untouched into the end zone from 13 yards out, his second rushing touchdown of the opening half, and the Mustangs extend their lead with 24 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Beautiful play call. The Ferrari, baby, all you got to do is just get out of his way. And Cal Poly operating left to right into the wind. So if they drop a passing play here, it may be a bit more difficult than if they were going the other way. Jeffrey comes out of the shotgun. Slot right, single receiver left. He does drop to throw. He lost the left side. Koski open inside the 30. He's got it. 25, out of bounds, shy of the 20. All reliable J.J. Koski there when you need him. Spotted at the 21. And the Mustangs are on the doorstep of the red zone. A big third down conversion. Jeffrey found J.J. Koski again. Jake Jeffrey on the option, keeps spinning over the goal line. Did he get in? Penalty marker down. The Mustangs are celebrating. I think it's going to be post-touchdown. Well, the, yeah. uh, I'm not seeing any touchdown signals, but the Mustangs are trotting back to the sideline as if they have just scored. Well, you know, the side just threw a touchdown, and then he threw it quickly. Yeah. Okay, so it's a touchdown, it's a touchdown for the touchdown. Mustangs. Yes, exactly. Unsportsmanlike on it. There you go. Oh, on Southern Utah. Yeah. Might have hit the quarterback late after he crossed the goal line. Yeah. So the Mustang quarterbacks, and there's been two of them that have played tonight, two of them that have played rather well. Jalen Hamler ran in the first two touchdowns, and Jake Jeffrey runs in his first score of 2019. And the Mustangs get those seven points right on back. Man. Kakoa <laughs> Sissoka just one for seven on field goal attempts this year. This is a chip shot from the left hash with the wind. Snap, placement, kick. Missed it. On the way. Missed it. Off the missed left it. upright, he missed, missed it. it. He missed it. Missed it. Off the left upright. And the Mustangs hold. They'll get the ball back. Up three with 2.10 left. Wow. Wow. Missed it. Unbelievable. Missed it. <laughs> I can't now Jeffrey's that. a victory formation. I, and think, see, I think they did the math better than we did. Yep, they don't have to punt this. No. They wind under 40. Jeffrey takes a knee, and that will do it. That's gang. The Cal Poly Mustangs, for the first time since 2007, come to Cedar City, Utah, and knock off the Thunderbirds tonight by a final of 24-21 to in front of a sellout crowd at Eccles Coliseum. Just a great victory by the Cal Poly Mustangs, man. Just to stay tough, stay composed. Offense is turning over to football. Defense has to get on the field and make a play and save. And then, I mean, what can we say about a field goal kicker? That's one for seven. He missed an extra point here that actually really made them have to go for two at one point. 